Hey everybody, this is MG Vids again with some more League of War. Um, I was finally able to knock off this second mission uh, in Tunisian Dirge Culture War, so I thought I'd show that to you. Um, so that way, if, by the time you get here, or if you've already passed it, you can see what, how I tackled it. Um, maybe that'll help you out in this one or future ones. It's it's a difficult mission because, you know, like you saw, it's got a lot of helicopters, but they're all like maxed out Madrids and it keeps pushing them. And so. In order to deal with that, I actually had to load up half my team with basically anti-air. So let's see if I can beat this here again. Basically, I gotta, need to get the right mix of Kadri, uh, Exterminator, and, and Reapers to deal with all the air. Because it only runs these two light vehicles here, is the army you're going against. And the rest seems to be helicopters. So we'll pump out a clerical here really quick just to deal with all of this. And then... We need to find the right balance of basically armor and craft to kill helicopters. Is the best way to put it. So there's that. The Reapers are doing there, but now we have armor coming, and it's just really tricky to find a good balance. By far, having the kind of keep pushing these snipers out because my has to sniper unfortunately is just short of being able to knock out those those Durbans right away but you know the exterminator squad is actually really helpful as well I need to just get a boost here because otherwise uh, we're not going to have to I'm able to get my units out push out another squad me absolutely nothing. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's really like a cadre mix, uh, exterminator mix. Basically just pushing out has the snipers just to have enough anti-armor on the ground to deal with all this air junk. But you only have to survive for uh, you know four minutes, but Four minutes takes a really freaking long time when you have a lot of anti-air. I mean, this is basically an anti-air level, but with, you know, Ifrit's maxed all the way out. That was the Madrid, or Harpy, I'm sorry, maxed all the way out. And I even, I think they're even running a uh, Harpy as well. So, just go heavy anything that you have is, that's kind of anti-air. Well, even rocket squads, I think, maxed out like those rocket squads would be decent. Uh, because that's what you're going to be doing. It's just all air, and all you want to do... The armor is not really that bad. Uh, it's just... Yeah, he's maxed out all the way, but it, they're on commons. So, only 2,500 defense. They don't necessarily deal tons of damage. These Durbans are a little bit... Dubins are a little bit more of a pain in the butt because they're anti-infantry for me, but again, you know, I, if my Hassa sniper was just a little stronger, he'd be able to deal with those without issue. Now, what is neat, and I've had a couple of folks who keep asking, hey, how are you getting keys, and what do you suggest? Well, I mean, like others have said, the, the easiest way to get keys is, is to buy them. Um, I don't pay for extra gold, so basically as I level up, or get it into different invasion missions, I will I will buy gold chests with gold. I, I don't think it's worth spending your gold on anything other than gold chests. I bought those elite chests before, but they don't really, really seem to be worth it. So I would say go only for the gold chests if you're 60 gold, uh, as you save it up, uh, which is really the benefit to, to leveling. Other than that, you know, I'm on par with the people and wise with folks that are at a much higher level. Now, with the two missions, though, uh, with the campaign missions, I spend a lot of time in there because, you know, getting everything to 100%, I get two silver keys every time. So, like, this morning, I was able to get another Hassa sniper out of a silver chest. So, that, that guy's at 50 now. And also got a Calerable last night out of, out of a silver chest. My Calerable was already maxed out, so, I, you know, I used that to, to level a different unit. But... I spend a lot of time grabbing silver keys from there. And then also just in the evasion missions, especially this one that's going on right now since it's Versus, when you run through Versus, you can get a lot of 
every now and then bronze and silver keys will pop up. And so I collect those, and I'll get a rare every now and then out of a bronze chest, but really it's just maximizing um, the number of silver silver keys you can get, because you can pull rares and super rares out of that. I mean, that's how I got my uh, Comrade Zero. I'm still waiting for my 28-day reward. I can see the kind of the casualties back and forth here. So I'll do that. Um, and then with the invasion missions as well, I can typically get two to three gold keys out of those. Um, there was that glitch a while back where you were able to get some extra keys. I know I did get you get units out of that, but honestly, those units, most of them I don't even use, and I actually use them to level up because they're just too strong. So like I still have, I think in my my folder for my company, I've got a Janus, you know, Super Janus and Super uh, Janissary, but. I just don't use those because I, I don't like playing high-level units. I think they take too long to bring out. I'll show you the, uh, the next mission here. Uh, this is the one I'm trying to figure out now, Fly Swatter. I'm just getting wrecked here because it's a mix of air, Janissaries, and that light garbage. So, really, and you need to be able to win in three minutes. So how I'm going to punch through all this stuff in three minutes right now is beyond me. But once I figure out the solution here, uh, or I find out my way to do it, I'll give you a look. If you already cleared this, you know, let me know what, what you ran. I'd be interested to find out. Uh, but basically, you, you need to make a run down as quickly as possible because they bring out not only Janus series and helicopters, but they bring out uh, these those stupid MLRS things that sit in the back. So what I've been trying to do is just run tanks down as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be too late. Now. Too late. We've got a Dubin, a Janissary, super rare, a max. I mean, the thing's got almost 16,000 defense. <laughs> I, you know, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, a Harpy, and then this Hydra, uh, they get two or three of those back there behind you, and there's really just nothing. You know, I just can't get a good enough push right now to beat this thing. And, uh, now, in, in the time frame, now this squad I'm also running is not ideal for this. I'm going to have to switch this back out and add more. But... Yeah, they just struggle. This is the Chance series is ridiculous, man. It deals 6700 6, and has what you need. So that's where I'm at right now. Some more League of War. I'll be back with some more, um, I don't know, two or three days. I got, I'm going out of town. But uh, hopefully this is helpful. And, you know, as I make my way through Tunisian Dirge, I'll keep showing that. And then next week, once a new invasion mission is released, um, I'll run through all the levels uh, that I can get through to show you how, how I've tackled them. Because I know some folks get stuck on different ones. So we'll take a look at the new invasion missions. But until then, um, hope this is helpful. Keep engaging with with us on the comments let me know kind of you know if there's certain levels you want to see that you have made on get by or other stuff that you'd like me to just film let me know um, otherwise i'll kind of keep just figuring it out on my own uh and until next time um have a good weekend this is mg vids encourage you to subscribe and we'll see you in our next video thanks